Richard. Your mother said you could be saved. Prove her right. Join me and we can stop failing together. No. You are not alone. Integrate her family, along with half of Voss. <laughs> Those ships belong to the Sith Empire. Maybe they want to join our alliance. Fixating on Senya, you neglected a much greater threat. The Outlander. My father was there, too. I felt him. And you chose to ignore him. You've been thinking like a child. Focus on the big picture. I see it now. It's all connected. And the Outlander is the key. Call coming in from the Sith fleet. It's Empress Asina. Greetings, Commander. It has been a long time since we last spoke. I'm grateful you showed up when you did. You saved a lot of lives. I hope this is only the beginning of what we can do for you. The Sith are tired of being crushed under the Eternal Empire's boot. We wish to join your cause. You want to bow to Valen, but you'll bow to me. 
I'm proposing an alliance of two independent powers against a common foe. The empire I remember doesn't keep allies for long. That empire is dead. We have learned to evolve. While you were frozen in carbonite, many things changed. Come to Droman Kass. See for yourself. Sure, we'll head right over. That doesn't sound like a trap at all. What would I gain by betraying you? Your followers would turn against us, and we would have even more enemies out for vengeance. The Empress did put herself at risk by helping us here. Valen isn't likely to forgive that. You make a compelling offer, Empress. Let's discuss this in person. I will look forward to your arrival. I guess it couldn't hurt to visit. We've got intel, but I can learn a lot more if we're there in person. Don't do anything that will hurt the negotiations. Understood. Don't get caught. That's not exactly what I meant. I'm curious to see if things really have changed since I left. Whatever we find, this trip will be interesting.